Hello, sports fans! Welcome to the Broadcast Booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Car Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's November 29th, 2022. Today we're going to compare Blasters of Tops archives and see which is more of a fun break 2021 or 2022. It is my first look uh, at 2022 in hand. Uh, we're going to take one pack out of each blaster and put it in pick a pack because I am leaning more and more towards the final night of the Eight Breaks of Hanukkah being a pick a pack extravaganza, a huge pick a pack attack. In the dugout today, we have Mo Rivera and Jose Abreu. At the end of the episode, we will send it down onto the field, take a look at those dudes in the dugout, talk about why they're in there, as well as any highlight pulls. I think we will start with 2022 because it's fresh. We have the captain, number two, Lego Jita. Number two. He's in the box. He's ready to rake. And before I forget, because it's been working pretty well, let's rub the nose. That thing has delivered for us. Along with Lego Jeter, I'm hoping that the quality uh, continues, the quality luck continues from those two as we head into the eight breaks of Hanukkah. We're looking for big hits to close out the year. Hope everyone had a great turkey day. Watch a little football, spend a little time with family and friends, and just go into a food coma. All right, anything look crazy thick? This guy right here looks a little interesting. So let's take the next to last pack. We'll set that guy to the side for a pick a back because everybody loves a pick a back. And it's getting pretty full, so I think it should be a good time as we do that for the eight breaks of Hanukkah. All right, see if we can get a little first pack fire. At least we know, oh, I remember this now from archives that their packs are a little tougher to get into. There we go. Of course, 2022 uh, in archives, I believe, has all the, the good top rookies, so that's what we're looking for. Oh, I see a little Stephen Kwan on the back. Shout out to Scott at Reindeer and House of Cards. All right, Kyle Lewis now traded. They were like, in case you didn't notice, Kyle, we got this kid Julio. He's really real good, so we're going to stick with him for a while. So he's move Kyle, moving on. Ooh, Bambino. A little Tops image reuse. Seen that picture many a time. Louis Gilles. Brian De La Cruz. Jorge Soler. Spot Ooh, Nice Ron Santo. <laughs> That's the joy of the game right there. I like that Ron Santo. I mentioned it in a previous episode, though. I'm getting a little tired of the 87 uh, design. They've been using it to extremes. Uh, it was like popping up in things and then they were like, let's do the 35th anniversary and then let's do the inserts and it's just on and on. I'm like, okay, enough of the wood paneling. Everything goes out of style, including 87 top style. A little Cabrian Hayes. Delivery from Mike Piazza here. Frisky. Nice, Roberto Clemente. A little, a little shine. Darvish. Here's our shiny. Ooh, the big hurt. So this is the uh, the big uh, design. They're not big. They used to be big when they made them originally. But they add these so they're like the foil. Nice card right there. Always enjoy pulling some big hurt. Glad that he's on television. My question for the Big Hurt was still remains, because he's talked about it a little bit through the World Series. He was hurt the year the White Sox won the World Series, and I believe he, then he got traded to the A's. And so I don't know. I wonder if he got a ring, because he doesn't wear it, right? And if you didn't play in the World Series, do you wear your ring if you get one? Le Machine looks like uh, either Photoshopping or a little uh, spring training facade in the background. Where's Correa going to go? That's a big question. All right, Torkelson. For a guy that was like, you know, really, really highly rated, he really did just sort of not disappear, but he did not get as much attention as you would have thought with the rise of Julio and Jeremy Pena. Where's Dansby going to go? And the Rhino, we got a little Chicago hot box here. Shout out to the Chicagoans. So 
So, so far, Jeet's still sitting at home plate. I don't really think you know the standard inserts get you around the bases. And what do I think of the designs, really, is kind of what I'm looking for. That's the kind of fun thing about archives, right? You get multiple designs, but with heritage and everything, uh, they're starting to overlap a lot. Bogsy. Alex Kirilov. Okay, so this is a really highly touted young player, and he's basically been off the map for like two years and change, obviously through COVID and all that, but then he, he was injured. I think he had Tommy John or some sort of like big surgery, but he's poised to come back, I believe, uh, in 2023. So let's keep an eye out for Alex Kirilov. Hunter Green. And uh, all Jewish teams have Max Kepler, though I'm not really a Kepler collector. All right, we need uh, we need a nice nice pull here to get Jeter, at least a second. Or right, hashtag KB for the PC. There's we see more of KB in baseball cards in a Rockies uniform than he actually has played in a Rockies uniform. Edgar Martinez. So, so far, no numbers, no nothing. Basically, our best pull here was Torkelson, arguably. Maybe that Babe Ruth card. Unless our hit, if there is a hit, is hiding now in pick a pack, which would make the final episode of the eight breaks just crazy with a, maybe a ton of hits coming out of pick a pack. We shall see. Ooh, very young Dale Murphy. All right, Bryson Stott will take that. Vegas' own B Stott. IKF. Noma. Jose Miranda. Numbered to 199. Okay, so it's a rookie card. Numbered. At least gets Jeter to second. But I don't know much about Jose Miranda. Oh, well, that'll get. I think that can score Jeter, right? Well, that's pretty cool. I think that's a pretty new. Should have taken into account the way it does look like a postcard. I like that. That's a fun subset. Pena and Longo. All right. I think actually Pena can score Jeter because the kid just came and showed out, right? Very cool. It's going to be interesting to see how things continue on with Jeremy Pena being a kind of old rookie last year, right? At 25. He's not a kid. Uh, all right, so actually Jeter winds up scoring. We dig that. We got Torkelson. We got Pena. We got a numbered rookie card, and he's not a pitcher. But uh, look at a lot of years in the minors. Numbered out of 199. All right, we'll keep... Oh, shout out to the Puerto Rican collectors. There, little PRPC action. We'll keep an eye out on Jose Miranda. Okay, well, let's clear the field. We'll start a fresh inning here with the next box. Box number two, ready to rip. I did open a little bit of last year's archives. Not too much, which is how I wound up with this one sitting in the vault, waiting to be ripped again. I don't really know why I, I hung on to it. I don't usually hang on to archives that much. I did not get a hobby box of it. You know, the nice thing about Archives Hobby Boxes, you do get two guaranteed autos, but, you know, modern players or, like, superstar players are somewhat tough to come by. Let's take the first pack and put that one in pick a pack, because nothing too crazy came out of that first pack in the other blaster. Do I need to re-rub? Let's do a little double rub, just in case. Maybe we'll pull an auto. But, uh, yeah, since this is Archives, you know, sometimes the autos will be a guy, like, the, the ones I've pulled out of Hobby Boxes... Haven't been Hall of Famers. They've been like, you know, good known players, but not Hall of Famers. We're still hunting that first Jeter auto. First Jeter auto to the for the PC. That's that's gotta happen for us here before too long. Oh, that's a pretty cool Lou Gehrig. I haven't really seen that picture before. I like that. The Grish Hammer. Right? The joke. That I made was he was like not great in the regular season. He hit like a buck ninety, and then he came into the playoffs and was like, "Hold on, I was saving my stick for the playoffs." Yeah, Bill Trey, Kalenic, he came on, uh, uh, you know, pretty good there at the end of the year last year. Heartthrob Bob, 
Ooh, and William Contreras. Oh, look at that dinged bottom. That's a bummer. All-star William Contreras. Nice pull, but that rough bottom. That did us dirty. I was going to say, it could have got Jeter. It could have gotten Jeter to, to uh, first base, but that ding corner, that, that negates the, the quality pull right there. Teddy Ball game on the back. More Noma. Haven't seen that picture uh, that I recall either. Mountie. Jonathan India, Rookie of the Year. Oh, there we go. All rise. We got here Jim Palmer. That's a pretty cool Ted Williams right there. So this is a nice insert. I can't remember which this one is called. I'll look it up. But that is at least, I'm going to say a triple, because that's a solid PC hit of the big man, the MVP. Looks in great condition, too. No dinged corners or edges. I didn't drop it or anything, so all signs pointing to so far 2021 being a little bit of a better rip, just because of the PC hit. Uh, my, speaking of PC hits... Hoping to pull a little Judge, a little Hank Greenberg out of Ginter. My blasters did arrive, so I'll be ripping a little bit of, uh, of that down the road. Oh, very nice, Tony Gwynn. Some good imagery in this box, uh, and in both of these that I haven't seen. Tops uses a lot of imagery use, and these are all images I have not seen a ton of. Sticks McKenzie. I think Yerman Mercedes got traded. Oh, that looks interesting. I wonder if that's an insert. Neon Dion. That's just a really pretty looking card. So, real quick, Neon Dion getting offers for college football. My alma mater, UNLV, just fired their head coach, as they do because their football team should be like Division Three, not Division I. Um, But they were talking about Neon Dion should come to Vegas and coach them because... The UNLV football team gets to play in uh, Allegiant Stadium, brand new big, you know, multi-million dollar venue with new facilities and there's more money and all that stuff. So, but I think it's really cool that Dion's at an HBCU and I think he, if he wants, he should just stay that he's done great work for the program down there and uh, it'd be really cool to see HBCUs continue to be more of a force in college sports. Nice, Willie Mays. You check out the documentary on HBO about Willie. Boobick. Uh, Brian Anderson. And I will say it numbered. I will say it looked interesting. Numbered out of 150. So we've got, pulled a couple hits, pulled some numbered cards. But I don't know too much about Brian Anderson. Injured early in 2021. All right, well, I'll keep an eye on that. Let's see if we can pull anything else. That's a tempting scoring play for Jeter. Both cards numbered low, uh, which is pretty cool. They're not, you know, out of like 900. Javi Baez for his short time with the Mariner, uh, the Mets. More Kalenic. A-Rod. Oh, all right. So I guess it's not like a rare insert, but... Lubab. Arenado. Arenado making his presence felt recently here in Shenanigans Card Park with that sweet auto hit out of Ginter. All right, can we get some last pack mojo? Corners on this look sharp. I don't think there's really relics or that kind of thing, but I don't know what would make something feel thicker out of archives. Nico Horner had a good uh, closeout to the season. Kuna Matata. Ooh, the Kingfish. Tim Salmon. Fergie. Spencer Howard. Oh, who we got here? <laughs> More Kalenic. Need a Kalonic after all this Kalenic. If he has a great season, though, these will be nice pulls, right? He's very highly touted. He just sort of 
Had his little ups and downs, a little trip down to the minors. I'm going to say I'm going to let Jeter score on, on that numbered card. It was an iffy. It's it like a pass ball score, right? Like Not like a home run. Uh, pretty fun rips. Definitely, I'm torn. I don't really know which one was a better uh, box. The, they feel about on par with me. You know, none of the designs were really jumping out big time saying, oh, I love that design. Um, but, you know, there are, we're getting into the time where some designs I don't love. You know, that like mid-90s tops, not the greatest look. You know, this is like not a design that's going to stand the test of time. Uh, but definitely fun stuff. Let's send it down onto the field, talk about the dudes in the dugout, and look at a few highlights. In the dugout today, we have the Sandman, Mo Rivera, and Jose Abreu. Mo is in here because it is his birthday today, born on this day in 1969. Incidentally, a lot of birthdays today. I wanted to have a different birthday boy in the dugout today, and I'll talk about that in one second. Other birthdays today, Vin Scully, Hojo Howard Johnson, Jamal Mashburn, Russell Wilson, and Minnie Minoso, 2022 Hall of Fame inductee. I was looking for a Minoso card. I could not find one in my collection. Went through and looked at sort of, you know, what cards are available to him in modern times that I might have pulled thinking he might be in Heritage or Ginter uh, or Archives, and nada, could not find one. I know I've got something like maybe an Action Pact or something around. I just couldn't find it, but I, I definitely wanted to shout it out. It would have been really cool to have Minoso and Abreu, two Cuban superstars, uh, in the dugout together. Uh, but we got Mo Rivera in there, the only unanimous Hall of Fame entry. I'm not a big Mo Rivera collector. I have my reasons, which if you want to email me and ask me about it, I'll tell you. Uh, but no doubt, you know, greatest closer of all time. Uh, and we've got Jose Abreu because he just signed with the Astros. A uh, bit of a surprise to me. Uh, should be an interesting signing for them, right? He's 37, not a young guy, three years. Uh, but wanted to show this card off because it is beautiful. Uh, I don't know what these are out of flagship, uh, but really cool. It is numbered. Going to flip it around real quick. You can see there it's numbered out of 790. This baby is headed to uh, our honorary EP, all around good guy. Uh, and GOAT OG Fab Sub Francisco Santiago uh, in his holiday spoils for the Eight Breaks of Hanukkah. A little spoiler alert there for you, Francisco. Uh, other packages are going out. Should be a good time for those who are going to receive something. Uh, okay, let's slide it over and take a look at some of the highlights. Box number one, the 2022 variety brought a nice crop of rookies, including a numbered foil rookie hit. Uh, obviously very pleased getting some Jeremy Pena action. Vegas' own Bryson Stott hopefully uh, has a big year next year. Uh, and hoping that a sub out there might tell me a little bit about Jose Miranda. Educate me just a touch. Let me know if this is a really good hit, a meager hit, or a nothing hit at all. Uh, but always nice to pull some good rookies, and we did get a few of those nice big foil cards uh, of the Big Hurt and Ryan Sandberg. Let's take a look at a few more highlights. Box number two did bring us a nice PC hit right there with the Aaron Judge card. Uh, we'll definitely have to keep an eye on Jared Klenick next year, uh, see if he can continue to improve and have some staying power in the show. And it was great to pull a Wilson Contreras dinged bottom bit of that card right there. One of those cards that's tough to keep in great condition because the color goes all the way to the edge, so every any little mis imperfection jumps out at you. We also got that Brian Anderson numbered card, but uh, wasn't a rookie or anything too crazy. Uh, I really don't know. I'd love to hear from you in the comments which year, uh, which set of archives you thought was better out of this break, because uh, I am truly conflicted. Uh, before I go today, reminder, get yourself entered in that Aaron Judge giveaway. Uh, very easy to enter. All you got to do is go back to that video, like, subscribe, and then let me know how big do you think the bag is going to be for the big man. Uh, always looking forward to reading your comments. Good luck to everybody in that giveaway. Stay tuned for a lot more shenanigans, and then the eight breaks of Hanukkah kicking off mid-December. Slam that like button, make sure you're subscribed, tell all your friends, and I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.